Hey Canucks fans, it is Canucks game day. It's their final home game of the season. And I want to talk about a trio of forwards today. Vasily Podkolzin, JT Miller, and Brandon Sutter. I'm Canuck Clay, and this is my Canucks take all in one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Thursday, April the 28th. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. I'm right at the 8,900 8, mark, which is pretty cool. Want to get to 9,000 by the end of the season and then aim for 10,000 by the end of this year. Got a lot of ways to go, but I still appreciate all of your support nonetheless. It is the final Canucks home game of the season. They're playing, they're hosting the Los Angeles Kings. LA has already punched their ticket in the playoffs as the third overall in the Pacific Division. Meanwhile, the Canucks, as we know, will be on the outside looking in. Expect it to be Spencer Martin in goal. Expect it to be OEL, Myers, Hughes, Shen, Hunt, Dermott, on the back end. And JT Miller, he did miss the optional, the only player to miss the optional, but expect him to be on the top line with Chason and Garland, then PD, Podkols, and Besser, a third line of Dickinson, Richardson, and Lamico, or Highmore, I should say, and then a fourth line of Lamico, and likely Sheldon Dries, and um, I'm missing someone, either Patan or, or uh, someone. Yeah, I, I, I just drew a blank now. The fourth line would be, oh, Lockwood. No, if Lockwood's hurt, hurt, then it will be indeed uh, Lamico, Patan, and Dries. Okay, I want to talk, well, well, no, one other thing about tonight's game. It's going to be fan appreciation night. So as the last game of the, the final home game of the season, they're going to have a party on the plaza. Actually, there's a cool band playing named Trilogy, and many of them have, have also done music with Marie Huey. I know I've worked on a couple things with them. So if you're down there, you're going to the game tonight, uh, and you're down there early, make sure you check out the party on the plaza and um, the, the cool band named Trilogy that's playing. A lot of giveaways apparently, some discounts at the team store, so a lot of cool things happening tonight. A bunch of contests as well. I'll be there with my lovely wife, Gail. Uh, makes sense to end off the season with her. We'll be in our regular seats in 319, so I hope to see you at the game tonight. Connects wearing the black skate jerseys, so of course I have my Quinn Hughes flying skate jersey ready to go. I want to talk about three forwards, all for different reasons. The first one, Vasily Podkolzin. He did a media availability this morning and he was hilarious. He was so good. I was so impressed on so many levels. The very first thing he says when he sits down is my English still isn't that good. So no hard questions. And that, that got a chuckle. But I got to tell you, his English is really good. It's outstanding compared to where he was, I think, when he moved here in the summer and over training camp to where he is now at the end of the season. And the rumor is that he, oh, I don't know if he was the one who actually requested to meet with the media or if the Canucks thought it'd be a great uh, you know idea to do this now and that the season's winding down regardless he was so impressive not only how much he's improved with his English but he was playful he was honest they asked him what's your favorite English word and he said Bruce there it is that was pretty funny he kept calling all the veterans of the team the old guys and I thought that was good as well talked about um, playing with Abbotsford for the playoffs and how much he wants to become a better player and improve. So good, so mature. And and I think if he's not already, he's going to quickly become a fan favorite in the city. In fact, when when people say, oh, you know, what jerseys should I get? PD or or, or Hughes or, or Miller or Horvat, which are Demko, all good choices, obviously. But one of them, I think, Paul Colson, um, is also a good choice because he's going to be around for a long time, at least the next six years when you think about it. And I think he's going to become a fan favorite very quickly. So... I, I said in my tweet that his English is outstanding, only only matched by his work ethic. Because what we've heard about Paul Coles, and I've vlogged about this a few times before, is he's earned the respect of all of his teammates because he's always the first one out on the ice, the last one off of it. So he's really a, a workhorse that way. And, and we can see the improvements in his game, his decision-making, his assertiveness. He stands up for his teammates and, of course, his skill. We, we know that he's got really good hands. He's got a really good hockey IQ. So all to say, very, very impressed by Vasily Podkolzin meeting the media this morning. JT Miller also spoke. I, I can't remember which show he spoke on, but it's getting a lot of uh, pub recently because it's the first time we've heard JT Miller speak about his contract situation and his potential future here in Vancouver and speaking about it in a hopeful positive way we've all had this idea oh he's not going to want to sign here he's going to want to want too much money he wants to return to the states uh, play for a contending team now 
But everything he said, and I have no reason not to believe him, he was saying stuff like, it's exciting to be here. I want to be here with these guys. I like what we're building. I want to win here. He was saying stuff like that. And again, it was it was a far cry from what we expected him to say or what we are expecting him to say. Now, he might be just saying this to sound good in the media. He doesn't want to ruffle any feathers at the end of the season. And it could be a bargaining ploy, build up his value, make it sound like he wants to be here so therefore he can ask for more. Um, but it also could be very genuine and that he's taken a liking to the city, to this organization, and of course, most importantly, the coaches and the players, the players that he, he goes to battle with every single night. So JT Miller, um, I've fallen, if, you know, if I had to predict, I still think he'll be moved at the trade deadline next, next year depending on where the Canucks are, actually. Um, I think that's going to be a big factor and, and where other money is going to be going to other players, i.e. Brock Besser. But yeah, this will be very interesting as well. It'll be very interesting to watch throughout the next year. But it, I admit, it was kind of refreshing to hear JT Miller say stuff like that, that he wants to be here, he wants to win here, he wants to continue building the excitement here. So much rather have that than, oh, uh, you know, we'll see what happens or talk to my agent or I'm not worried about that right now. So uh, something to track for sure. Last uh, three, last of the forwards I want to talk about was Brandon Sutter. We haven't heard a lot from him because he's been battling the effects of long-haul COVID or long COVID, whatever you want to call it. But he was on the broadcast on Tuesday night with speaking to Dan Murphy. And uh, a lot of love on the interview because a lot of uh, people, uh, a lot of people sympathizing, empathizing with him, feeling bad for Sutter. He he spoke about his frustration, how he wanted, he thought he was getting better after Christmas, then he had a big setback in March, how much he misses being with the team, and quite frankly, how he, he's uh, concerned about um, caring for his family and his long-term health. All very, very real human things. And some people were noticing that he seemed short of breath in between answers. I didn't catch that so much. I just thought he was taking a deep breath in so he could, he could speak properly and powerfully for for 20 30 seconds at a time but regardless um it was great to see him on the tv talking to dan murphy but it was also scary at the same time hearing him uh, talk about that he's worried about his future he's not sure about his future how he's been having setbacks and they still haven't figured out how to uh how to get rid of all the symptoms so another indication um you know i don't i don't want people going too crazy in the comments there but another indication of at least um, how COVID has hit brandon Sutter and his family um in a in a tough way so Canucks fans, as always, would love your feedback on anything I talked about, whether it's Pod Colson and his, his emergence here, JT Miller, stay or go, and Brandon Sutter, the, kind of the for, forgotten man this season. One thing I won't forget to do is give a score prediction. Last two games of the year, you know I'm going to go with Old Faithful, 4-2 Vancouver. And just because we're talking about him, let's go with JT Miller as our first Canucks goal scorer. So make sure you leave your score predictions down below, your prediction of first Canucks goal scorer. And if you're at the game, Make sure you look out for Gail and me and say a quick hello. I would love to chat, connect with you tonight. Shout out to my sponsors, Perform and Transform, Personal Training and Weight Loss. Sign up now for a free seven-day trial. Use the link in my video descriptions. And Advanced City Experts Real Estate Group. Contact Jason Lim and his team for all of your real estate needs. Shout out to my legendary Lucas Gates. Not my, my legendary members. Legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Justin Credible, legendary Andrew Chang, and Hall of Fame members, Gen95, Sim Alexander, Chris Seifert, Adam Brewfield. Shannon Hollingworth, HSM Fangirl Gaming, Smooth Groove, and Carol Bovenlander. Thank you for your support as always, and thanks to the support of all members of all levels. You're listed in my video descriptions. If you want to become a member of the CCC crew, press the join button underneath this or in my videos on the membership tab on my YouTube channel. And don't forget, no live stream tonight. Got to finish my final exam, finish preparing for it, writing my final tomorrow, and then two hour live stream tomorrow night, 10 p.m. to midnight Pacific time to commemorate to look back at this season and uh, I have some giveaways, some contests, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I hope you join me tomorrow night at 10 p.m. at the conclusion, or an hour after the conclusion of the Canucks Oilers game. But for now, subscribe if you'd like to, like this video if you'd like to, become a member of this channel or upgrade your membership if you'd like to, and leave a comment down below if you'd like to. Score prediction, first Canucks goal score, and your thoughts on Pocolson, Miller, Sutter, or anything else you wanna talk about. Stay safe, stay healthy. Oh, if you made it this far, nine and a half minutes in. Let's say this, uh, let's say finale. That is the secret word today. That's that's how I know that you made it all the way to the end of this video. Finale, all in caps, spelled F-I-N-A-L-E. So final with an E at the end. 
type that in, then I know that you are a true trooper and you made it this far. Now for real, stay safe, stay healthy, stay healthy, not stay stealthy. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Have a great day and enjoy the Canucks game. I hope to see you at the game. God bless and go Canucks go.